ABTV is a product of the AV Journalism class produced for the students of Amateur Valley High School. The views expressed on the show do not represent the views of AVHS teachers, admin, or PUSD personnel. <laughs> Good morning, Dons, and happy Halloween. Today is Thursday, October 31st. My name's Kiki. And I'm Aiden. We're your AVTV hosts for the 12th show of the 2024 to 2025 school year. Along with our weekly AVTV broadcast, make sure to follow us on Instagram at AVHS Info to get the latest news from around the campus. Aiden, have you seen U.S. history students practice for the annual Charleston dance during lunch? Have I seen it? I'm part of it. We've been practicing hard during lunch to nail those dance moves. And with only two weeks to go and three practices left until the big event, everyone's embracing the spirit of the Roaring Twenties in every step. Be on the lookout on the 15th of November at lunch to see all this 1920s action going on around. Today's Halloween. My personal favorite part about Halloween is the amazing decorations that can be spotted around our neighborhoods. Well, you're in luck because our AVTV reporters went out to look for the coolest houses around Pleasanton. Let's check it out. For Halloween, we went around Pleasanton looking for some cool decorations. We found a lot of spooky inflatables, colored and flashing lights, dangling skeletons, and some zany zombie statues. If I'm being so frail right now, there was no spirit in the neighborhoods. But at least we found a couple houses that were really cool and went all out. Hey Kiki, do you have a favorite fall dessert? Personally, mine's pumpkin pie. Nope, that's objective. I seriously can't think of anything better to munch on. To get into the fall spirit, here are ABTV reporters Hannah and Brianna with our second episode of Cooking with the Dons. Hey Dons, welcome back to our second episode of Cooking with the Dons. As pumpkin season rolls around, it's the perfect time to bake some pumpkin pies. Here's what you need. Starting with the crust, you can either use store-bought already prepared pie crust or make your own by combining flour, salt, and ice water and slowly knead it in the butter and vegetable shortening until a crumbly dough forms. While that sits in the fridge to chill, preheat the oven to 425 degrees and you can prep your pie filling by beating the eggs and pumpkin together and then mixing that with the sugar, cinnamon, salt, ginger, and cloves. Then gradually add in the evaporated milk until a liquidy pumpkin mixture forms. You can now prep your dough into your pie pan and pour the filling in and pop that sucker in the oven for 15 minutes at 425 degrees and then 350 degrees for 40 to 50 minutes until the center of the pie wiggles a little bit. The pie will continue to cook outside the oven and make sure to wait until it's fully set before you cut and enjoy. And now you can enjoy a nice warm pie for the pumpkin season to cozy up and eat. This has been Brianna Ma and Hannah Yao for Cooking with the Dons. Now we have our first commercial. The Japanese World Language Program is proud to present the 2024 Japanese Bunkasai Fall Festival happening on November 8th during school in the MP and Quad. Come to participate in fun cultural activities such as kendama, calligraphy, origami, and ayatori. At the festival, you can enjoy music and traditional dance performed by Japanese language students. Please bring cash so that you can enjoy Japanese foods and snacks at the festival such as chocolate covered strawberries, musubi, yakitori, and so much more. All proceeds go to the UCSF Children's Hospital, so please come to support our cause and get a taste of Japanese culture. Now we have an announcement. Hey, just do this for you real quick, then you can go hang out with your friends. Okay? You remember where Mr. Gerald lives, right? Yeah, fine.
Alrighty, Dons, it's time for our weekly trip around the campus. This week, AVTV reporter Caleb Hong went out and gathered the latest news, announcements, and more information that you need to know. And he put it all together in this week's Around the Campus in 60 Seconds. Let's check it out. Hey, Dons, I'm Caleb, and I'm here to take you around the campus in 60 seconds. To start off, Drama's Haunted House is open today from 1 o'clock to 4 p.m. It's sure to be great fun, so make sure to drop by. For sports and announcements this week, we have some home games. Girls and boys water polo will be taking on Foothill. Frosh football team is set to face SRV, and JV and varsity football take on Cal High. So remember to deck out in AV spirit and cheer loud. This coming Monday is the official start of winter sports, so good luck to all of our winter athletes gearing up for this season. Finally, reminder that tomorrow is a staff development day, so enjoy the day off. This has been Caleb Hong with Around the Campus in 60 Seconds. Dons, don't forget how important it is for you to stay connected. You can find everything going on around campus by going to amatorvalleytoday.org or by following us on Instagram at avhsinfo. Also, remember the leadership Instagram at avhsdons where you can find all the spirit weeks and other ASP activities going on around campus. Well, that's all we have for you today. Make sure to hang around for today's birthday grams and check back in with us for next week's more news, announcements, and profiles. And remember, Dons, it's, it's always, always a beautiful, beautiful day, day here, here at Amador. Amador.